the crown for being the most insane IRL streamer around, at least for now. Up there with the likes of Johnny Somali. Okay, Johnny Somaloid. Neon. Chinese? Jack Doherty. Little baby boy face. It sounds like that was sexual. And she's trying to make it big in this difficult, dark and cold world. This is a woman that is old enough to be the mother of all of these other people we talk about. She's fallen into the cycle of fame, money, and all that shit over stability and being a good <gasps> person. And she's learning quickly that this will eventually lead to her and everyone else who's involved in this is downfall. I'm going to jail tonight. Can I take a Xanax, please? So who exactly is this wacky bra? Is that offensive? Can you call? Let's see. Define broad. Dated and informal. Elisa Jordana is the person we're talking about in today's video. She's been floating around the internet for quite a while now in the entertainment world in general, but specifically really the internet uh, recently. She's 39. 40. She's between 34 and 40. She's like... 39 or 35 or I don't know fucking how old she is, but she's old a lot older than I am Which means she deserves this just kidding. Nobody deserves this because I said I'm gonna kill you But all women I say can't. that Elisa is the self-appointed queen of IRL live streaming Which is just absolutely not true that she is she's the self-appointed queen and that's on her LinkedIn Just so you guys know by the way, I'm on LinkedIn. Go ahead and add me up on there. I recently created a LinkedIn So CEO of sour boys LLC go to sour.gg by the way, we have some sunshine slap back in stock. Bring it back an old flavor. Go sign up to our email list, be the first to know, and go buy all of the Sunshine Slap before it sells out, because it's probably already sold out by the time this video will go up, to be honest. <clears throat> Queen of IRL streaming, more like the Countess of IRL streaming, or maybe the mayor, maybe the mayor of like a small IRL live streaming town. Not the queen, though. Not the queen, that there's no fiefdom here, all right? So who is this person and why they get such a fucking late start to IRL streaming and what were they doing before this? Because there's a lot of years that are just unaccounted for with all these other freaks. You've got, they're just like 19 years old and they're easily impressionable and they get in the wrong crowds and they get a taste of money and then they become evil pieces of shit. Eliza's fucking between 29 and 60. Old enough to know better. She was allegedly a writer on the Howard Stern Show for six years. That's right. My favorite personality of all time, Howard Stern. Do people ever confuse you with Will I Am from the Black Eyed Peas? Uh, she contributed to his monologues, his audio bits, the song parodies, and even made some appearances on the show, on the show sometimes, guys. Very awesome. This, by the way, is disputed because she's a giant narcissistic liar, and we don't know what's true or what's real. She put this on her LinkedIn once again, and I have no fucking idea on how to verify this. This fella here disputes everything she says and said that she was a guest a few times and not a paid guest. So she was never actually employed by Howard Stern or Sirius Radio. This dude says he's been a listener since the 90s and a regular listener since the early 2000s. And this guy, like all of us, is confused because she's been seen telling police officers that she's famous and works on the Howard Stern show. Do you know, knows me from the radio. I'm a radio is? person. How long have you She might just be a giant fucking weird lion person. And this is going to be one hell of a fucking rabbit hole. I wouldn't be surprised if I, that she tries to uh, uh, do a privacy takedown on this video, in all honesty, because these types of people have this weird level of just value for themselves and their image online. And when people like me trash it or are just honest and talk about insane shit that goes along with it that's very obvious, they try their hardest to just get rid of it or wipe the internet out of it. It ain't gonna work. But just letting you guys know, if this video goes down, that's why. Just in case you're wondering, that is the Eliza from the Kermit and Friends incredibly famous TV show. Excuse me, do you know how to get to town? Yeah, it's back the way you came. It's a adult version of Sesame Street described by Eliza on her LinkedIn. Kermit and Friends, very cool, 3.6 years. Interview show with a colorful cast of characters. This show has nothing at all to do with fucking Sesame Street. And if it had any more to do with Sesame Street, I hope to God Sesame Street would sue the shit out of them and destroy them into oblivion. It's a shitty interview show. That's what it is. What I want to ask you about, baby, mm. you're not gonna like this, is what the hell is going on with you and Lucas? Did you hear me? What was the question? She's the host of the show. She is the contracted version of those two words. Is implies that she's still posting. She hasn't posted in two years on this terrible channel. And the people that she's posting with are, it's really interesting. Onision, Andy Dick, my favorite 
content creator ever. Let's see. Andy Dick Prison. Aw, oh, man. Yeah, nothing on this channel gets more than 700 views. Pretty low, pretty low, pretty small. And I know something in there, too, about being a big YouTuber. I'm completely fueled by Dr. Pepper 100% all day long, every single day. Dr. Pepper and Sour Boy's candy. It's all sugar. High sugar diet. It, it works well for me. I mean, look at this. So anyways, how the fuck would someone come up with such a genius idea for a show? Well, when your local church won't baptize you because you're not close enough to God, the natural response is to make a show like this. And that is exactly what Elisa did. She had, once again, an Onision on the show. Very funny. Like, this is like, I could talk for probably 10 hours about this in depth because it's such a thorough and rich story. Absolutely revolting, d disturbing, creepy, weird content. You could talk for years about what it's like to be going out with a girl. I know, by the way, that you guys have been screaming at your phone because I left out her third job, the job that you are all most interested in, and that is the senior executive position at a precious metals investing group. That's right. That's awesome. Don't take investment advice. I don't know a lot about this or anything like that, but I'm not so sure about anything that Eliza Jordana is in involved in. I really just wanted to explain to you guys how fucking bizarre this lady is before we really get into the true rabbit hole of the Eliza Jordana experience, I guess. She's taken advantage of her industry connections. She has been on Howard Stern's show multiple times, which is very impressive and hard to get on. Normally, you can't be normal, so... It does, it makes sense though. They don't let normal people on that show. You might remember me from being on the Stern Show a couple months back, where I performed some of my songs, I discussed my musical career, and talked about my friendship with the beautiful and amazing Benji Brock. And also, how about the times you wrote for the show though, and you wrote the satirical parody songs and all that, and you wrote Howard's monologues. The main kind of thing on the Howard Stern Show, she's the girlfriend of one of the writers on the show, Benji, or I think he's a writer. I'm not really sure, I think he quit. <laughs> Time, Benji and I were just friends, and to everyone's disappointment, he won me over and we've fallen in love. We are so happy. So now I'm living with Benji and things couldn't be going better. We love to goof around, we create music, and we're big animal lovers. I know Benji had something to do with Sharknado 4, though. I remember seeing that. That's kind of funny. He missed the first Sharknado. He was in the second through number six. But he's the worst fucking actor I've ever seen. It's really strange. She has this kind of clout vampire persona about her. She's just doing every single possible thing she can do to get a modicum of clout from anyone she possibly can. Well, I am an admirer of Elisa. Elisa has even worked for me, and the fact is, is that she is talented. Is it called Carmen and Friends? Carmen. Friends. Well, Carmen. But oh. if Carmen, you're saying like not to do yeah, Wait, wait. I actually have <laughs> watched a few hours of the Kermit and Friends. As far as I'm aware, these are real clips of actual famous people talking about Eliza, and it's it's very odd. It's really weird. Jimmy Kimmel. My wife and I uh, watched um, uh, Benji's ex-girlfriends uh, or whatever's going on. We watched this crazy podcast. And I am I have to say, this is one of the probably in the top five things I think about. I feel like Jimmy probably thinks it's really weird as well. I don't know how much of Howard Stern show is a psyop. So I'm reluctant to say anything as if it's fact, but... Apparently, Benji and Eliza dated for a while, and when her and Benji broke up, Benji agreed to financially support her for a year. Paid her $31,000. They're never married, and they didn't have children together. Very, very odd. If I was a betting man, I would say this is insane, and it's also a bit, and they're just taking advantage of the situation to make it as weird as possible for, for content. That is Howard Stern, and, and Eliza's kind of a... Not necessarily a victim, but all this shit is just so weird. If you're if you're chilling with Andy Dick and you're making videos with Onision, I'm not gonna. I don't care about you. Billy, I have my back to it's my. Perfect. It's perfect. Right. Billy, Billy, has, Billy, go over here. Billy has been unbelievable to me. I know. Me. I know. He's the only one. I know. I know. I know. I know. And I'm like, okay, so you fuck. No. I know, I know. No, He's no, told me no, he didn't no. know. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on with any of these clips. I don't know. She's like the most fucking weird vulture vampire woman I've ever seen in my life. And there's Andy Dix there. I thought he was gay. Their boyfriend and girlfriend or some shit like that. She's trying to extract things from him. He will die soon. Probably He's a convicted sex offender. Dude is a fucking freak ass weirdo. She is so weird. I don't know what's going on. Like, uh, hopefully I'm building this world up for you guys because it's 
once we get into the IRL streaming shit, it's it it gets fucked it's so quick. It gets fucked so quick. Look at this. What is this? What is this? This is not normal behavior. This is not normal behavior. What are you doing? Why are you letting your dog lick inside of your mouth? What is this? Why is there so much of this? She was also engaged to Andy Dick as well. I'm so fucking confused. She's a narcissistic, nightmare, freak weirdo of a human being surrounded by other fucking freak weirdos. Her little stint with Howard Stern gave her a taste of fame that caused this just rolling dung beetle ball of shit down a hill. Just... And then you let a dog lick inside of your fucking mouth. I'm not gonna do that, Frankie, by the way. All right? I'm sure my mouth is very delicious and salty and weird. All right? You can't do that because it's fucking weird. POV, Eliza's not the center of attention. And the other bitch she's walking with takes the spotlight for a split second. And I do want to say something because I do sense like these different um, <laughs> motives here. And, you know, I feel like, um, you know, coming from there to Hollywood Museum, you know, where old school film was produced um, and, you know, everyone has their own situation and this is an act, okay? This What's an act? Like, like, uh, 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 what is going on here? I don't know. I've never seen human beings interact like this. I can't hear a word. The girl in the back saying, this bitch is walking like a fucking ghoul from Fallout going. I hate this. I don't know what this is. I don't know what kind of content this is, but I can't look away. I feel like Jimmy Kimmel right now. Jimothy Kimmel. And I never thought I'd ever say that in my entire life because Jimmy, Jimmy Kimmel's barely human. Also, how about this? Talk about looking deranged. Couldn't have better fucking music. It's a horror movie. Oh yeah, and she does have a subreddit. And as every subreddit eventually turns into, it's just a hate subreddit. They hate all of her. They are a really good source of the most fucked up shit she's done. It's great if you want to check it out. The Eliza Jordana subreddit, pretty baller. It's a fucking endless wasteland of clips. Her worst moments. It's ridiculous. A couple of slurs as well here, guys, just for a good measure. I wouldn't meet with someone that called them pill. Just some casual racism. No problems there, guys. Oh, the average IRL streamer. I wonder what, like, the most dumb races. <laughs> Eliza has a Discord as well on top of the subreddit, and she has allegedly doxed people, swatted people. She doesn't address it, and... She might encourage the doxing and swatting within the Discord. I have no fucking idea what's going on there. Elisa, we've hated her for a long time. She mm -hmm. had that Discord where people were doxing people and swatting people, and she wasn't doing anything to stop it, wasn't speaking out against it, because I only like positivity. Meanwhile, this is one of the most toxic bitches you're ever going to see. This is like one of the worst people we've talked about so far on the channel. Genuinely, this is insane shit. I cannot believe that this was not a thing that I was aware of a long time ago. The Discord's been nuked completely from the internet. I don't know if it's privated or completely deleted. There's a bunch of leaked messages from it and they are fucking insane. They're delusional, as you might be able to expect. Her lawyer told her to shut the fuck up and she locked it down on the Discord as one genius you might expect to do. So all in all, she's a massive piece of shit gold digger who is completely in it for herself. She is concerned solely about herself. She's incredibly selfish, narcissistic. She's trying to extract as much money as she possibly can. She treats people below her as if they are nothing peons. And she hangs out with actual brain dead idiots like Andy Dick. But why did you call me a dumb fat whore in front of the whole farmer's market? It was really embarrassing. She wants to be in control. She wants to be in the spotlight and she wants to be a fan Famous IRL streamer. In fact, she is already the queen of streaming. IRL streaming, guys. It is incredible. We love Eliza Jordana on this channel. <laughs> Eliza has slowly been declining into pure, unadulterated madness with her streaming lifestyle. She got some big donos from a very kind soul, a guy named Z Scoro or Scoro. He sent her so much money, thousands upon thousands of dollars, and it. she's nice to him, and then he just, he's like a, pay, he have, uh, verbally abuses her on st stream. It's very odd. It's a really strange relationship. Who says I'm the biggest, best asset that she has. And as soon as I'm asleep, you fucking dumb cunt. I've asked you 10 fucking times not to introduce cancer in my life. 
You go, oh, he's such a menace. Menace to what, asshole? Do I need extra, like, shit to deal with, dumb cunt? I don't know what's going on, but it seems like Z Scoro and Eliza are incredibly strange narcissists. Maybe sociopaths. I really don't know what any of these words mean. I shouldn't be even saying any of them because I'm a fucking YouTuber and I don't know shit about mental health. So this guy is a pay pig. He's really rich and he sends her a lot of money, supposedly over a million dollars, a million, millions of dollars, $50 donations to $25,000 donations. It's unbelievable, dude. Where's my pay pig? She obviously plays into this. Loves this guy. He gives her cash. This fellow's real name is Bahram, allegedly, and allegedly he has money from stocks. I don't know how that's possible. Usually when people say they're they're wealthy from stocks, it's because they inherited a lot of money and that money was already in stocks and in the hands of like a wealth advisor. So they they really don't have anything and they don't have they have no identity, so they attach themselves to things that are unimportant, like giving Eliza Jordana a lot of money and making that a, a focal point of their lives. <laughs> Scoro infiltrated his way into Eliza's life through his wealth, which is the ultimate way to get into Eliza's life if you're not a content creator or some person with fame. Even Andy Dick. Andy fucking Dick. Scoro and Eliza argue all the time. He's a weird fucking pay pig. She says he has no game. He has no game at all. Like none, none. No, yeah, he's not good with girls. And then she's nervous and biting her fingers. And after he sends a bunch of fucking money, it's really odd. What is happening right now? This cannot be real. These people aren't real. Their brains, there's nothing inside their heads. When you take their heads off their body and you open it up and you look inside of it and you, you, you peel back all the membranes and all the, all the, the tissues that aren't brain tissues, you can see there's nothing. There's just a big chewed piece of gum a chewed piece of gum and it's like little got bubbles in it there's nothing in there and i don't know what these people are and i'm convinced that like 10 percent of the population is this it's just these people there's nothing going on and sometimes they get famous and then they i don't know it's weird my hypothesis aside eventually eliza agreed to hang out with scoro great idea it was chaotic as fuck he kept his composure, but he eventually turned into his verbal abuse monster moment. He told her to shut the fuck up. Very entertaining content, I've got to say. Fuck you, bums. Okay, okay. fuck you, bums. Any uh, one wants to call up, you shut the fuck up, let me answer them. Okay, and I'm fine. you literally, all of you, uh, add up your cumulative wealth uh, and intelligence, idiots, and think to yourself, I ask this all the time. You ever been top 10 in anything in your dumb lives? Minus 10 with 16 zeros, pleb. So you think you're not impressive? I have news for you, you're not impressive. Okay. I'm impressive. Okay. I'm 10 with 16 zeros. Okay. What are you? Not bad. Right. He's a fucking quadrillionaire, by the way. 10 with 16 zeros? Oh my fucking God, that's so much money. He's like Elon Ma. So yeah, he's actually insane. In spite of all that, she had him get on a plane and visit her instead of him, her going to him, because that was risky. It's so weird. He's really rich. He calls her a <laughs> Very odd. This one's cheaper and you can book it for today until the next one. Simple instructions. <laughs> Follow. You can stay at both places or make the other one start earlier. I'm not booking shit. You're gonna die sad and alone. Have fun. I wish I had your password, then I can just easily fix it. I wish I had your shit genetics so it weren't so bad. Your whore daughter would be born so fucking dumb. Just walk on the plane, hon. Let's just try. Let's just be tried and nice to be each other. <laughs> It's second one I missed. He's nice. I think this is how relationships are supposed to go. Is this a fetish? Is this a thing normal people do? I don't think this is a normal thing people do that are normal. People who are normal don't do this. Can you stop licking the air? What's wrong with you? You're happy now, though. You're not going to yell at me anymore. Good girl. Good girl. So he eventually gets their fucking weird ass bum. Look at him. He looks it's so weird, man. I don't understand. Also, a lot of the comments are just the same. They're penned. Eliza is the best of the best that ever was the best. What does that even mean? So exactly what this is, I do not know. There are so many levels of inadequacy from just a human being perspective. I cannot peel my eyes off of it. It's terrible. It's bad. Both of these people are absolutely worthless and I love it. I fucking love it, dude. It's the degenerate thing. I don't know what's wrong with me. Why do I like watching it? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Anyone with common sense would realize that money isn't worth just being mistreated by this fucking freak weirdo, but she likes attention and drama and people like watching this kind of stuff. She gets harassed and abused by her pay pig. Sometimes she attacks back and just continues to hang out with him. 
worked out. They hung out with for a long time and eventually the relationship got so fucking terrible that someone is in jail now or probably out of jail now maybe i'm not sure are the other women gonna beat me up one out for 12. white female 10 15. i can't believe this my mom my mom will never talk to me or my dad or my sibling so she swung on him she swung on her top dono she swung on her pay pig she swung on the very man who's getting her all the things that she needs <laughs> So how's all this start? Exactly how you'd think. The pay pig was sending money to another girl and she found texts on the phone. And during therapy, I don't know how this happened. I got hold of his phone. Okay. He'd been cheating on me for two years. I freaked okay. out. I ran out. Okay. He paid this other girl thousands of dollars to come over so that they could meet up. He was seeing us at the same time, like literally at the Whoa. same time. I hear you paid her $1,000 to come over, actually $2,000 through Venmo. I'm, not, I'm actually gonna call her right now, but I know what the situation is. The girl is called Sarah, by the way. She then calls the girl on the phone, Sarah, and confronts her about her boyfriend talking to her and sending her money. Hi, is this Sarah? Hi, is this? Hi, Sarah. This is uh, Baram um, Alipur's friend, Elisa Jordana. Have you heard of me? I have not. You have not? I'm um, a streamer, a live streamer. Hello? Hello? Hi. Yeah, no, I, I only watch live streams. Eliza tells her that while she was getting millions of dollars, she was also being sent money by this guy. They were in a relationship, but she fucking broke up with him. She's bragging about the millions of dollars she's received from him. How is that even possible? I don't believe that. That cannot be real. Turns out the whole time, uh, the whole time he was uh, sending me $2 million. He was also um, like sending you money on Venmo I saw. Is that true? I cannot be that, that cannot be real. I will let someone berate me and abuse me for $2 million for real. <laughs> Just kidding. I'd swing on him. I'd swing on him real quick. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. I would, actually. All the while this shit is going down, it's the most manic, fucked up thing you've ever seen. She's driving around without a seatbelt. The alarm's going off. She's talking to Sarah. They're figuring this shit out. Baron sent me like $2 million and has been seeing me at the same time. I don't know if you care about that, but if you do, you might want to talk to him about that. Gotcha. Yeah, so the same stuff he texted you, because we were just in couples therapy, and I noticed the same stuff he texted you, every single thing, like princess, burka, um, the other stuff. Uh, I, could, I could continue reading. Actually, I'll read it to you right now. Just the same stuff that he was texting me, he was texting you. So fucking strange. <sighs> she drove off, too, with his wallet and phone so she could snoop through his texts, and then she goes to the mall to spend all of his fucking money. Steals his money actually steals his money goes to the wall the mall live streams that shit she's got his phone i have his phone in his wallet right now i wonder who he's meaner to though i wonder who he i wonder who he abuses more her or the other girl sarah after a bit of fun goes down the police arrive to drop him off because she just fucking left him at therapy by the way that's where all that happened is, is therapy that's where all the shit went down I'm just gonna go to my car. He came to get his phone and wallet back. The officer tells her to give it back. And then she starts beating him up. She fucking swings at him in front of the police. Do you wanna go to jail? Not really, no. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. No, it's not okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you should see what you're no, lucky that I'm your asking, hand didn't hit him because regardless of what he said. Okay, all right, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Can get I go me off of that camera. Stuff? Okay, you're not on it, you're not on it. Well, get, if she's the so, police, I'm listen. Talking. I'm regardless of what had just happened here, if you had hit him right in my presence, Regardless if he was quiet, I no, be quiet and listen to me. No matter what he said, you would be going to jail. Do you understand? Right, you must not right, talk that's that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. You wanna go to jail? I don't know what's going on here. It's it's crazy. The cops just want her to give him his phone and wallet back. I've never seen anything like this in my whole life, dude. I Johnny Somali is more mentally stable than these two people in this fucking live stream here. Then they get back in the car and she begins her drive and things get so much fucking worse. She says she would kill him. Genius. It's kind of an awkward silence that precipitates an actual threat of life or death. Are you gonna let this take advantage of you, Elisa? 
because the cop was watching me and I couldn't kill him there. Some fella tells her to beat his ass, which is awesome because there's she's got simps. We lift this to your car. Slap the out of him and kick him out the door. Don't worry, he's gonna get what he deserves. I, I, don't worry. He's gonna fucking get what he deserves. Don't worry, don't worry. Letting callers just call in to give their opinion on what is going on in this situation, the the crime of passion here is mind boggling. I don't understand this. Then they start beating each other up and it's awesome. I'm not sure if I can show this on the video. Hello, IRL customer service. How can I help you? Yeah, where are you taking Mill House? I'm gonna go kill him at the house, so. All right, yeah, send him back to LA with his black tooth. No, he's not going back. He's not gonna survive. It's just today. So yeah. say, say your goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. All right, later, loser. She punched him in the dick. I saw all your texts, all of them, dick hard. She doxes the girl. Sarah's phone number, Sarah's address, her full name, her Venmo account. Sarah is on Venmo and her transactions are James on the- James donated $5. Yeah, so she's just doxing people in her Discord. Allegedly. It's not allegedly. I just like to say things like that allegedly because it's actually fucked up and there's like real world consequences to running the shit. Actually, you know what? She, <laughs> she went to jail, so she's evil. She's a fucking freak fucking weirdo. She calls up Sarah and asks her how she's doing, starts wailing on this guy then goes back to her bubbly attitude like a fucking cretin, a bipolar cretin, starts just swinging on him in the Hi, car. Sarah, how are you? I'm no angel. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, God damn. I was trying to punch my pay pig, Frankie. <laughs> Stop. I'm not punching you. God damn. <laughs> That's right. Get him. Get him, Frankie. Get him. Get him, Frankie. Get him. And this is when things get just too far gone. She grabs her. She, she grabs. She starts beating him up and he grabs her by the hair and they start yanking on each other. She does this fucking cowgirl thing. Like, I don't know what, th th this has to happen sometimes though. This this cannot be the only time that shit like this has happened. And it's fucking crazy. I don't even know what to say. I'm not sure if we can share the videos that will get deleted off of YouTube, but maybe you can go to the Gulp Club and watch the uncensored version. I'm not sure if we'll even have that up yet, but maybe we will. Cops arrive on scene. We got the body cam footage. She says that she was strangled by him. Why, why do you want to see my hand? I just, I'm trying to see if there's any marks on your hands. Oh, no. Just, yeah, dude. He was like straight. Like, he was like okay. this. Let me see. While you were in the car? While yeah, you were I, driving? I, I was, or when? Yeah, I was thrown out of the you car. pull your hair back? I was thrown out of the car. She said she was thrown out of the car. She's an absolute fucking liar who refuses to take any accountability for her true insanity and actual fucking ridiculous actions. She cries a lot, crocodile tears, because she's a fucking psychopath. I know him for like six months. He's been cheating on me the whole time. This is my fault. So he, he was more violent than my fault. How long have you guys been engaged or had the marriage? Four months. It's really stupid. Okay, so you met him. The policeman watches the entire situation on the phone, sees that she's the primary aggressor the entire time. She's put in handcuffs, searched, and then he sees all like all the evidence of her. Like she's live streaming all this stuff. Cops don't have live streams, guys. That's a civilian thing. Cops don't have access to live streams, according to Eliza. She gets processed, arrested, and then there's a beautiful mug shot. And also, we find out exactly how old she is. <laughs> she was born in 1982. Old! Old! Just kidding, that's not even that old. After the drama, TMZ interviewed her, and she doubled down on her live being, being strangled and thrown, even though we've seen all of that. It's all on film, and none of that's true. She's fucking... She's a loon! Lunatic! I was thrown, like, out of my car onto the road and, str and, and strangled. She just wants to pin it on her cash cow, man. She just wants to pin it on her cash cow. Jail! Anyways, guys, best part about all this is that she thinks she's completely innocent. She is genuinely a basket case. I don't know any other way to explain this. There's, an, a, web, uh, there's a website called Eliza.lol that just has a bunch of stuff that is just fucked up. Racist towards Nana Pips and Hispanics in general. Eliza and Friends, Dine and Dash, 100K Spurg, racist or whatever. Michael Jackson tries recruiting an eight-year-old to her adult network live stream. By the way, at one point was engaged to Andy Dick, a, a fucking sex offender. So I'm excited to see exactly what happens here if she goes to jail for a long period of time. I'm hoping, dude. I'm 42 year olds that act like children is one of my favorite things of all times. I, dude, I, I, this is crazier than Neon. This is crazier than Jack Doherty. This is crazier than fucking Jonathan Samaloid. All right, this is the this is next level shit here. I'm smoking that Eliza Jordana pack, and I recommend you do as well. This shit is fucking entertaining.